I'm going to show you how I make my bar soaps last a long time. But first, let's talk about why I like bar soap over liquid soap. They're usually packaged in a box, which makes it very easy to recycle, leaving little or no waste behind. Liquid soaps are packaged in plastics, and we all know that 9% of plastics actually get recycled. When it does get recycled, it goes back into its original state once or twice before it gets downcycled into soft plastics, which eventually go to landfill. Liquid soap is also bigger, heavier, takes more gas to transport, leading to a bigger carbon footprint. Bar soaps are a lot more concentrated. Liquid soaps are about 80% water, so you end up using a lot more product. For example, this shampoo bar lasts me between four and seven months, depending on the brand. That's equivalent to about two to three bottles of shampoo. And this conditioner bar is over a year old. And lastly, these are so easy to travel with. They're small, they're lightweight, and it's easy to put into your backpack or suitcase to go out. Let's get into the video and I'll show you how I make my bars last a long time. Keep your soap on a soap dish with drainage holes. This is a wooden one. Don't get the ones with no drainage holes. That will become all moldy. Oh, and I almost forgot this tip. If you don't have a soap saver dish, you don't have to go out and buy one. You can use a lid and elastics. This will help drain out the water from your soap. And now you have your very own zero waste soap saver dish. Back to the video. Also keep them in a really dry place. If you have to keep them in the shower, this is what I do. I have a basket in my shower for soaps. It has drainage holes, so it's great to keep them dry between uses. My shower goes directly up and down, so it never hits the little basket that I got from Ikea. So it's a perfect place for me to put it. I suppose I could also put it on the other end of the wall. So anywhere that uh, water won't touch it directly. If you have teeny tiny pieces of soap left, turn it into a paste like I did with my shampoo bar, and I probably have about one time left to wash my hair. Or you can just use a soap saver bag, put the tiny pieces of soap in here, and use it like an exfoliant because it's a little bit rough. Here's the key takeaway. Keep your soap dry between uses. It's going to help with texture and not make it all slimy. This will extend its life, making it last a long time, and you're going to save money too. Let's take a shower using all my bars, including my shampoo bar. Bar soaps are great. They're very equivalent to using the liquid version, and they even foam up just like regular shampoo. I hope you like this video and learn why I like bar soap so much. On this channel, I talk a lot about sustainability and how to reduce waste to be kinder to the planet. If you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And if you want to support even further, I have my own skincare line called Alona Earth and we even sell our own soap. It's fair trade and it's cruelty free. I use this head towel to dry my hair. Let's do a little post shower skincare with me now. I moisturize my face with this Baobab balm that I made with my own Baobab oil from Alona Earth. Nice and glossy. Don't forget my lips. Bye, I'll see you guys in the next one.